Hello folks, it's time for the unboxing of the GT68 smartwatch, which arrived unbelievably fast. Uh, arrived in 22 days from China to Toronto, Canada. Here's the watch. It comes on a lovely keepsake pillow. So for your comparison, we have the GT68 smartwatch, the original Samsung Galaxy Gear first generation, and the K8 smartwatch from last year, 2015. These watches all feature cameras and one side or another. Immediate first impressions. This watch is chunky and I love it. The GT68 is quite a bit larger than the Samsung watch. In comparison to the K8, it's Again, a bit bigger, but the thing I didn't like about the K8 smartwatch is it looks like an Apple watch. On the back, we have the alleged heart rate monitor. The strap comes in different uh, combinations with black. This is uh, greenish yellow. There's two hardware buttons on the side. A magnetic charging connector, which is probably inside the box here. So let us turn on the watch for the first time. I haven't checked the instructions or anything, but I'm going to assume uh, pressing one of these buttons should turn it on. Oh, here we go. And that is the first ever boot up sequence. Oh, a lovely... Uh, clock. Now this display is supposed to be 240 pixels by 240 pixels. The details seem uh, pretty sharp including the fine, um, the very small text. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Uh, colors. I have no idea what these icons represent, but they certainly look nice. Let's just take a quick look at the manufacturer's claims versus what I found to be true about the device. Permanent and steady, enjoy in free world. The appearance design is inspired by transformers and fashionable sports. Exquisite full view high definition display bring you wonderful visual experience. Environmentally friendly, anti-sweat, breathable, make is more comfortable to wear. The watch supports IP57 and is waterproof and dustproof. Unique physical compass design. Free to go and enjoy outdoor life, just for the wonderful surroundings. Precise positioning. Keep tracking, and know your place anytime. Ultrasonic sound cavity closed aluminum film, to feel the master stroke of science. Professional image. Sharp with rich details. Every moment in life is permanent. Quantify your exercise. Get your steps. Calories. Distant sports data. Heart rate monitor is able to analyze and measure. Provide heart rate data and specification. 300 million polymer battery. Safe and reliable. Intelligent quick charge technology. You should also be aware that we can't customize the user interface. You can't not access the Google Play Store with this device. It has hardly any internal memory. I couldn't find a place to insert an, um, a memory card. I was unable to detect any NFC chip and the companion app for the mobile phone is a complete waste of time. That being said, this is an amazing piece of hardware for $65. A smart watch should do three basic things. One, it should work as a Bluetooth dialer and headset. Two, when you lift your wrist, you should see the time. And thirdly, you should get most, if not all, of your notifications on your wrist. The GT68 does these three things very well. It has amazing battery life. I got more than 24 hours of use um, using the watch fairly uh, intensively. The speakers are fantastic and it has a dedicated hardware button for calling the police. See this bottom button here? Mm -hmm. Just press and hold it for a couple of seconds. Let go.
I think most people will want to disable the emergency call service um, as soon as they take this watch out of the box. You may have accidentally discovered the reason why these smartwatches have a so-called panic button. It's because any smartphone sold in India will be required to have a panic button. At this price point, this device could be a big hit in India and that would represent a huge market. So, is that watch worth $65? HELL YEAH! You have to remember, inserting a SIM card into the watch makes it a $65 standalone mobile phone. If you were, say, hiking or backpacking or traveling, the dedicated SOS button could save your life. And it's probably waterproof. So this watch I would consider excellent value for the money. Please watch for the upcoming part two of my GT68 smart watch video. I'll be doing a full walkthrough of the apps that are included with the device and how they perform. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.